Yet, after all, why not? Why shouldn't I make another cooking video? You're watching a recipe for that nerve, exploring the Princess Price cookbook with your host, John McNeil. <laughs> Sorry, force of habit. 2021 has, of course, been a challenging year. The main reason being there have been no new episodes of A Recipe for Nightmares. When people tell me of the terrible time they've had over the past 12 months, I automatically assume this is the reason why. But I don't intend to let that situation continue for a moment longer. And seeing as we only have a few moments left before we say goodbye to this year, we're going to say goodbye to it in style, the best way possible, with niche YouTube content that will be watched by a tiny selection of disinterested people. Hello. Today's recipe is Pouillard Pavillon or chicken in champagne sauce, a more celebratory meal one could not conceive. We require chicken, salt, butter, champagne, cream, shallots, mushrooms, parsley, bay leaves and thyme. And quite a bit of time too, this is going to take all night. So we better get cracking. Step one, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Next, we're going to take a three pound chicken and season it with a teaspoon of salt. Then place it into a casserole dish with two tablespoons of butter. That's about 50 grams here in the real world. And about 500 mils or two cups of champagne. Well, now this seems like a waste. And one for me. Mmm! We're going to cook this in the oven for 45 minutes, basting every 8 minutes. As for the minutes when you're not basting and turning, well, those are fine opportunities to reflect on all the achievements you've made during the past year, the ambitions you've realised, the opportunities you've grasped, and the wonderful memories you've made along the way. No, don't do that. Don't do that. So the chicken has been in the oven for a little over 45 minutes, just long enough to get a, a decent colour on it. We're going to transfer it to another dish and keep it warm. Now to the juices in the casserole, we're supposed to add four cups of cream, which is two pints of cream, which seems like a lot of cream. So uh, we're going to start off with one pint and see how we go. I mean, you can always add more, but you can't take away. It's a little nugget of wisdom for you. Add three shallots, chopped fine, and four mushrooms which I crushed with a rolling pin, as uh, is specified in the recipe. Next we want to add some chopped parsley, two bay leaves, and just a pinch of thyme. Oh. Now we're going to transfer this over to the hob and uh, cook it down, stirring until it's reduced by a third. This, all this, this was a Christmas present. Why, you like it or something? <laughs> okay, the sauce is simmering down, but uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna um, add some cream, because I think uh, Vincent Price had it right. When will I learn to trust him? Used by 22nd of December. That can be our little secret. Okay, the sauce is reduced again, so we are going to Pass it through a sieve into a clean saucepan. That means this mushroom slop can just go out. Do be sure to clean up all the mess you've made along the way. Over a medium heat, swirl in two tablespoons of butter and six ounces or a good glass of champagne. According to Vincent Price, at the pavilion where this recipe is served, the chicken is brought to the table whole and carved there by the captain. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. So for presentation, we spoon a little of the sauce over the chicken and serve the rest separately. And there we have it, Pouillard Pavillon, or chicken in champagne sauce. Today's dish will be paired with some winter vegetables, some more champagne, and the Vincent Price horror film Scream and Scream Again, triple distilled horror, as powerful as a vat of boiling acid. <laughs> mm. I 
dear young man, you know as well as I do, that God is dying all over the world. Man invented him, but doesn't need him anymore. Man is God now. As a matter of fact, he always mm -hmm. was. Today's episode is brought to you by One of Us, a tribute to Frank Michaels Errington, a horror anthology I had the pleasure of contributing a story to. All proceeds go to charity, so please consider picking up a copy and doing some good, as well as treating yourself to some excellent reading material for the months ahead. That's all for this episode. I hope you have a happy new year, all the best for 2022, and I hope to see you again soon with another recipe for nightmares. Shoot.